quality products. Our two horizontal machines, they're similar, but they're also different. Our Morsiki is a 40 taper spindle, which will be more for the high spindle application, high spindle RPM. And then our Doosan NHM 5000 is a Cat 50 machine. That's a 50 taper spindle. That It's a robust machine. It can remove material at a rapid pace. Just being able to hit multiple sides of the workpiece um, without having to pull the part out and rotate it, put it in another orientation where you're constantly inducing error every time you physically reposition the part. Not only can we get to all four sides of the part, but we can actually rotate the B axis as we're working. And so for like 3D milling and um, sort of intricate, um, intricate parts. Another key advantage to horizontal machining is the fact that there are multiple pallets with the potential of B axis rotation. You know, that being said, you may have one single work holding where you can hit this side, rotate the B axis, hit another side, rotate the B axis again, hit another side. Also, another nice thing about this machine is that with the pallet available, we can um, do multiple parts on one side for one customer. Once that is done, the cycle is done, it rotates, and then we can actually start working on parts for another customer while we're unloading, deburring, and stuff like that. So we're actually, we can get two customers going at one time. In a setup like this, it takes eight seconds to do a pallet change, and that's chip to chip. So as soon as the spindle stops turning, retracts, loads a new pallet, right back at it. The biggest thing I like about horizontal machining is chip evacuation. If you're on a vertical, the chip just sits there and the cutter goes by and it recuts that chip, causing more wear on the cutter. On a horizontal, gravity takes over to where the chip falls down. The chips typically want to lay where they fall. Well, on a horizontal machine, they fall down towards the conveyor and are evacuated out of the machine. Therefore, you do not cause double cutting of chips, which improves surface finish and as well as increased tool life. Horizontals are a perfect machine for lights out manufacturing based off of they have multiple pallets, therefore you can load up hundreds of parts on multiple tombstones, on multiple orientations of those and simply run while everyone's gone home for the day. Once when we get the machine going good with the setup, the proper setup and the proper tooling, the tools, uh, all we have to do is tool up our next tools, put in the offsets, load our parts, click the button, go home, wake up in the morning, we got good parts ready to go. What's going to be a little bit more rigid than say a comparable vertical setup, so um, you know, your ability to remove material as fast as possible depends heavily on rigidity, so horizontal is going to be a little more conducive to doing that. Really all parts are ideal for horizontal machining, but where they really flourish is where you can do multiple orientations of a part and with just the rotation of the pallet, complete the part in one work holding. What separates our horizontal machines from other manufacturers is the simple fact that we have a B axis and a pallet system in place. And what that does for the customer is we can manufacture one, ten, or thousands of parts on this very machine and do it at a, a rapid pace. We can spend a lot more time actually making chips instead of loading parts. <laughs> 